This is Terry Hill's operational strategy model. So we're going to talk about how it defines corporate objectives, it helps you determine market strategies, it helps you win business, you look at the most appropriate method for producing goods or services, and also the infrastructure that surrounds that, your supply chain, your billing, and your logistics. So this is the framework, and the framework is there to help you develop an operation strategy for a business. It works notionally left to right, but really it's a discussion held over four or five, five points. Um, and corporate objectives and marketing strategy, obviously they lead in to help you win orders, win business. But your operation strategy also feed in, help you win orders, win business. Let's go through each point. Corporate objectives, that's about what do you want to do with your business. Typically, it's financial targets. You look at KPIs, return on investment, that sort of thing, profit levels. However, you may have environmental issues or ethical issues that you wish to address. Your marketing strategy, that's all about how you communicate, your vision, your messages, uh, how you're going to target, which customers you want. So how do products win orders in the marketplace? Well, how are you going to achieve that through price, quality, speed delivery, your um, performance objectives, all of the things you would have read in uh, the, the sort of Slack textbook on operations management. So you've also got your operations strategy. This is split into two. One is the delivery system of choice. Uh, how are you going to provide, where are you going to provide volume, size, timing, location, how much inventory you're going to hold, all these decisions. Also the infrastructure. What's the functions? What's the system you're going to use? How are you going to pay? Who are you going to employ? And what's the structure for all of those? So that's Terry Hill's framework.